Hey guys, IVB here walking you through the next device I use in my house, and that is these wireless temperature humidity sensors. Uh, they're about one inch square. I have these in a handful of locations to check for temperature, and I have them in both bathrooms for humidity purposes. I won't walk you through that, uh, the placement of these things, because that, I mean, you can picture this on a wall. That's about all you really need to take a look at. Um, you do need to have one of these uh, base units uh, to uh, gather the data. Uh, it's got a micro USB or mini USB for power uh, and then an Ethernet. So you put these throughout the house and then uh, I'm going to walk you through uh, what the web interface looks like and how you can actually do something with these. Here's the web interface for my tag list. When you first log in, you'll see an overview of all the different sensors that you have as well as some basic information about each of them. Clicking into any one of them, you'll get the next level of detail. What's the current temperature? What's the current humidity? If it's a motion sensor, uh, when it was last updated, this is critically important for most people. What is the battery strength that you have remaining? For, uh, for those of us who use a lot of battery devices, you don't know if it's dying until it's too late. Now let's go into graphs and go into the temperature humidity graph. I want to show you this. If you recall, what I said in the beginning was I use this for two main functions. What is the effectiveness of the insulation and the windows in my house, but then also for humidity sensing in the bathrooms. I do not trust humidity sensing bathroom fans. I haven't heard good things about them, but I don't need to. I can just slap a Z-Wave switch on my bathroom fan and then use this as standalone humidity sensors. And now we can take a look. Anything above 70% means somebody is showering. I know it's a little high, but that's what I picked to be sure. Uh, 7.30 this morning, uh, yep, that was me showering, 1.30 yesterday afternoon and 11.30. Um, now I can see when somebody's showering, well, what good is that? Here's where my tag list, wireless tags, I think, shines. They have, and I'm going to go to KBath because it doesn't, it has mocked up data. Uh, they have a URL calling. For those of you who use if this, then that, they have all these same recipes there. And actions, I think is what they're called. Um, when you lose a link or reestablish a link, presence detection, out of range, in range, motion, doors open or closed. Uh, I happen to use temperature and moisture, so this is not the real URL to my house. Um, that's why I, I clicked this different one. But other than this section here, everything to the right is identical. This goes to tell my home automation system, go turn to, this command says, dude, go turn on the bathroom fan. Somebody's showering, right? Um, this thing says, looks like the moisture is down normal. You can turn that fan off. I think that is fantastic. Like I said, if you use if this, then that, um, you can take a look here and it has all the same functions, um, available to you there whenever my internet location comes back up. All right, let's skip that for a second. All right. So now if we, uh, close this here, I want to then show you how you can take a look for my other goal, which is what is the effectiveness of the insulation. You don't want to look at just one temperature at a time. Um, you want to have a handful of these spread out throughout your house um, and then take a look at all of them. So I'm going to click into temperature and then it'll say you know, which option, which devices do I want to take a look at. So I click that and then it's going to pull up a graph um, for all of these things um, on one screen. And I think something's slow on my internet connection, so. Okay, sorry, back, Comcast obviously dropped just for that one split second while I'm recording here. So if you take a look at the, all these devices all at once, now you start getting something interesting. You can take a look and see what the, do they all move together? Do they not move together? What is the difference in temperature? And so that way what I can see is, for example, den front. I know my den has awful windows. How bad are these windows? What is the temperature difference at its low uh, between what this thing says and then if we take a look at the kitchen you know if it's 68 degrees there then with the kitchen says 72 degrees and i can graph that over time to say are these things generally moving in the right direction um, which area of the house do i need to focus on in order to get tighter um, tighter heating and, and cooling um, maybe you don't happen to like this interface maybe you want to take a look at this thing in excel well you actually have the ability to download this into a CSV file. And I actually have that pulled up because there's some private information I didn't want to share there. So now you can actually pull this into Excel and then take whatever action you'd like to see on this as well. So uh, I think that that 
is a great set of uh, functionality. Um, one last thing I want to show you is these humidity levels are user definable as well as temperatures. Remember I said if the moisture is too high, too low. So you can set your own personal, um, if you're in you know, Arizona where it's always going to be super um, dry as opposed to, I don't know, South Florida where it's more humid, right? You can change these things and email, tweet, send push notifications. So that is the web interface. I think they've done a great job with the web interface. I'm going to move on then to the Android to show you um, how this thing looks there. And here is the Android interface. I'll walk you through. It'll be pretty quick because it's similar to what you just saw. There is a wireless tag app. So if you click into that thing, uh, you'll see all the same stuff that I just walked you through uh, where you can configure, graph, etc. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, ask either on the Facebook page or these YouTube comments. Uh, if you want to buy some of these devices, I have a referral link down at the bottom. Thanks.